What's up guys, Eldridge here again to bring you another video mail call. This is episode 47. Got a small stack of this to show you today and also an accessory. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. So the first item in today's mail call is that accessory. I got it from my Zuka cart. It is the Rainfly for my Trekker model. Uh, I figured it's a good buy uh, for the summer months coming up. So yeah, glad to have that. Uh, the first disc in today's mail call was actually a local pro shop purchase. I actually recently uh, was doing a practice round for a tournament. Ended up folding one of my putters, so I ended up buying this one. Uh, it is a Dynamic Disc Lucid X Warden, uh, AJ Risley uh, Signature Series. Um, it's got kind of a sh uh, silver shadow reflective foil, red disc with some smoky swirls in it. Um, it is embossed, 175 grams. Uh, it's a great thrower. Pretty straight flyer, so yeah, I was glad to pick that up. Uh, all right, so the next disc in today's mail call um, was a trade I did for one of those uh, new Tour Series Ricky Pro Pigs. I ended up getting a disc um, for my wife's bag, and then also this disc, which I'll show you. It is a Disc Mania. Uh, XO D line P2, just white golf ball white with an XO black stamp. Uh, it's embossed 175 grams, brand new. So it, it was this, this, and another one. And the other one I'm going to be showing in the mystery box video for her. So, yeah. So, next, this in today's mail call was a purchase I did. And I've actually pumped because it's a great thrower. It is a uh, Disc Mania, C-Line PD, it's a first run. It's a kind of a reddish maroon disc with a silver foil. It is pen 175 grams with patent numbers. Uh, really flat, really beef, gotta love this run. It's one of my favorites to throw, so yeah. Uh, next disc in today's mail call was a trade I did for another one of those Ricky Pigs. So I'm getting... Uh, excuse me, I'm getting on some of these discs in trade. Uh, this one is another Disc Mania C-Line PD. It's an Avery Jenkins stamp. It's a uh, C-Line PD. Uh, I believe it's a fourth run, pretty stiff. Uh, it's orange with a silver foil. Uh, it's pen 175 grams. It's just another thrower to have. So yeah, absolutely pumped to do those trades. So yeah. Uh, next disc in today's mail call was another trade for those Ricky Pigs. Seems like that's a pattern now. I'm not getting another thrower. Uh, it's just a backup for me. It is a Dismania Swirly S-Line CD3. Uh, it's got kind of that swirly S-Line plastic with a black stamp. Uh, it's already been used. Um, it's got Boss 175 grams. Uh, again, I love having getting discs for backup so that way I can help myself have inventory. All right, next disc in today's mail call was a purchase I did. I wanted to try one out. Um, I haven't really thrown the P3X that much, so this one I was going to try out as well. It is a Dismania C-Line P3. It is clear with a green foil. Uh, this one is actually embossed 175 grams. Pretty good profile, slight dome. Uh, no beads, so yeah. Uh, I figured I'd give both of them a try and decide which one to keep throwing. Uh, next disc in today's mail call was a trade I did for some other various discs. I think it was a two for one. Ended up getting this disc in the trade, which I'm really happy with. It is a Disc Mania Swirly S Slide PD2. It's got a double stand hypno hook and a chef stamp. Uh, swirly S Slide plastic with a green hypno hook and a green chef stamp. Embossed 175 grams, brand new. Uh, it's pretty flat, I would say. Uh, good run. Got a, the slightest of dome, little pop top. Uh, next disc in today's mail call was a purchase I did. Kind of a kind of a cool little stamp on this disc. Uh, got my friends thinking I bought a G-Star Mambo, but it is a Disc Mania S Line DD3 stock run with a G-Star Mambo double stamp on it. And I thought that was really cool. Um, it's got a, it's embossed, 175 grams. Uh, this one has some dome to it, good pop top. So yeah, I just thought it was cool to have in the collection. 
Uh, next package in today's mail call was uh, one of the putters that I'll probably be using. Um, ended up getting it for a pretty good price. Uh, it is a Dismania Glow P Line P2. That's a stock stamp, glow plastic black stamp. It's pen 175 grams. Uh, it's pretty well used, but not terribly beat up. Uh, so yeah, this will probably be one of my main putters that I go forth with. And uh, the next package, it's a uh, another one for those, another backup. Uh, this one's brand new. It is another Dismania Glow P-Line P2, glow plastic with a red foil. Uh, this one is also penned 175 grams when max weight on these. Um, so yeah, these feel really good in hand. Uh, I definitely think switching to P2s will help. Next package is a trade I did with my good friend Bill. Appreciate it, Bill. Put this back in the collection. I originally had it and we traded and then I traded back. So it is a Dismania S-Line CD. Uh, it's got the Fun and Sutton tournament stamp. It's lime green with a gold foil. A little bit of swirls. Uh, it's pen 175 grams, brand new. So yeah, really flat. Love it. Love the feel of it. <clears throat> and the last package in today's mail call was a uh, purchase that I did a while ago. Finally came in the mail. Um, so yeah, I'm pumped to get it. Uh, it is a Dismania Evolution Neo Instinct. It is blue with a black stamp. Uh, this is embossed 176 grams, brand new. So yeah, I tried the Instinct out. It's got a good profile, good feel, love that neoplastic. So that's all of this I got for you today. Until the next one, keep sending it.